Here is the end of the year, and I'm doing my yearly sausage cookout. We're going to be using O'Brien's um, all beef sausage. Uh, O'Brien's is located in the city or the town of Taylor, Texas, which is about maybe 30 minutes outside of Austin. Between Austin and uh, let's say Rockdale or Thorndale. Um, they're pretty much a, uh, I'm going to say they're kind of small, but actually they have a big client base in this area. They do a pork sausage, they do an all beef sausage, and this is a all beef string of sausages. Um, I love dealing with the folks there. They're very nice, pleasant to talk to. I've been buying out of O'Brien's probably close to four years now. And I'm gonna be cooking some of these up on Christmas Eve, but I'm gonna go ahead and start today with cooking what I'm gonna eat tomorrow, uh, which is a day before Christmas Eve. Uh, this sausage here has uh, a standard, you know, hawk casing, I guess about 36 millimeters. Um, it's ground pretty good. It's not too coarse, not too fine. They don't do, they don't use a lot of filler, which is good. Um, and the flavor is, it's okay. I mean, it's not spicy. We're going to spice this up a little bit, add some pot uh, potatoes in the pot. We're also going to put some onions and I might do some corn. Now think about it. Uh, but we're going to cook this up. This is Creole can. O'Brien's beef sausage strings. Okay, we got our sausages and potatoes and onions, or sorry, sausage and peppers and onions sitting here in a pan. I'm gonna whit them down with a little bit of tequila. We got a little bit of water and tequila in this pan. It's gonna help give a little flavor as we cook this down. Basically, this will go into the oven, and we're gonna let this just cook. I'm gonna wrap it up with some aluminum foil and let this cook real slow. Uh, I guess maybe about an hour and a half, about a 300 degrees. You don't want to cook it too fast. You don't want to dry out the sausage, but you want to cook it to get it fully cooked and get the oils and meat uh, oils out of the meat and increase the flavor of this this uh, this pan. Real can. As I wait for this meat to cook, I'm gonna be eating some pani pecans. These are thin shells. Got a good texture. Tastes pretty good, actually. These are out of Navarro County, Texas. Uh, I think this is called Navarro County Pecan or Nav Navarro County Pecans. I'll put a link in there. Uh, but these are pretty good pecans. If you want to eat a good pecan, you can get them here in Texas, in Eastern Texas. Real can. This is the final product, beef, peppers, onion, corn, bon appetit.